Hey, what's up you guys? It's Taylor here at Casone's RV. We've got a really special RV to show you today. Behind me is a 2009 Holiday Ramble Rambler. I was can't ever say Rambler. I don't know why. Holiday Rambler Imperial. This is the Bali, um, Bali, I don't know if you pronounce it, Bali, Bali, the IV. And the owner of this dealership, um, I'm usually the one that's supposed to find RVs, but he went out of his way to go and get this RV because of what um, what a great condition it's in, what a great deal we're getting for you guys on it, um, what a great deal that we got on it, and just every little detail of this is just, it's like the coach is almost brand new. So we had to go out of our way, he went out of his way, so that's how you know it's a great coach to go out and um, get this. Now, if you're looking for something small, it's not for you, it's 45 feet long, so it's definitely um, got a lot of options. We're going to show you that when we uh, head on inside, also on the outside. But um, it's definitely a big coach, and we're going to go over everything. So, um, full body paint here on the outside. We've got um, now. I know when it comes to like colors, they've got these weird names for them, which I could probably tell you what the weird names are. But I just kind of like to say kind of brown, gold, and tan. When you actually show it on the spec sheet, they'll say like uh, like aqua day not whatever it is but um, really nice colors on the outside really great colors for Arizona there's absolutely no checking on this coach I'm gonna be really picky when it comes to the outside and show you the very few scratches that I've seen right up here on the corner is um, one of the very few scratches that I've seen and on the very tops of the radiuses there's a tiny bit of peeling the rest of this coach even in the front on a coach that's 10, 11, 12 years old, you know, 90% of the time, you're gonna see um, the spider cracking on the front with the, the uh, 3M on the front. You don't see that with this coach. So it's just an immaculate shape for its age. 10,000 on a generator. Um, it's got 60,688 uh, miles on it, I think right around there. It'll be on the website for you guys to take a look at. We've got side view cameras, we've got backup cameras, definitely need side view cameras for um, a coach of this size. So I'm going to show you um, the outside here, we've got an awning on the side out here on the passenger side, and we also have an awning for your door. Let me uh, open these bay doors up here. So we do have one side out tray, This is uh, that's right here in the front, that goes out um, on either side here. And then the rest of them are just passed through storage. We've got three big storage containers. That is your second one. This is not your third. This is just uh, your fluids and we've got another through storage there as well. Um, now we do have the aqua hot system. You're not going to be able to see the aqua hot system because it's got the uh, panel in front of it. But we do have the aqua hot system uh, right here. We've got uh, just some batteries back here. Nothing fancy. That's where your batteries are stored. This and oh, actually more, even more batteries right here as well. This little compartment on a slide-out tray. Um, let me actually open this up. It's going to take me just a second. Probably should open it up before I start the video, but. Okay, so this has got a 500 Cummins. We've got access to the back of the motor here. We also actually have access in the back as well of the coach on the inside. So you have access, really good access, both to the back here and to the top as well. We've got the Blue Ox uh, tow hitch as well. Let's uh, walk back around this side. Four slide outs. We've got two over on that side, two over on this side. We'll see where kind of they're placed when we go inside, but relatively kind of the same um, um, same area on either side. Let's have you walk out this way, Bob, and just get a really a nice outside shot of this coach and light. Slide toppers on all four slides. Really nice shape. The roof's in really nice shape. All right, let's head on inside and see what we got on the inside. Before we head on inside, we do have the uh, keyless entry here. So this has got a key fob, 
and this also has a keyless entry. Key fob, 2009 was a little bit ahead of its time, so. Take it for granted nowadays, but uh, having a key fob in 2009 was a little advanced. So here we are at the front of the cabin. We've got these huge two front seats, passenger and driver's chair. These are the original seats in fantastic shape. Goes to show again with older quality coaches, um, like a Holiday Rambler, that they are definitely going to hold up with time. Uh, this has got the Roadmaster chassis. This has got the automatic power gear leveling jacks. This has got the Allison transmission. We've got all your controls on the left hand side for your mirrors, your lights, um, and a shade. We do have the automatic shades in the front, also on the sides, not in the back. Those are manual, day and night. Um, we've got the Sharp TV up there in the front. That is the original uh, Sharp TV. We've got all real wood cherry cabinetry throughout the coach here. And we've got all real tile uh, all the way back to the back bedroom from the front all the way to the back here. The kitchen is in the front, so that's a little bit more of a rare uh, thing to see in a coach. We saw it in our 2014 Dutch Star. We've got the Maytag residential refrigerator. It does have the uh, built-in lock on it. Over across from that, we have our kitchen set up. We've got, is this locked? No. We've got um, kind of a pantry slash, slash extra piece here for the kitchen area. And then we actually have a pantry right above it as well with these slide out drawers. We've got the two burner stove cooktop here with two propane gas burners. We've got the microwave convection oven. We've got storage down underneath. Um, and then we've got our sink here. This does have uh, heated uh, floors. Um, so I wanted to show you guys, I should have turned on some more lights over here. I think we have enough, but I wanted to show you guys, actually, let me see if I can do that. Lights, gallery lights, there we go. Um, all the options. Now, sometimes when it comes to RVs, when you buy them, some of the options aren't really options. They're like what comes with the coach and some are actually options. It's just how RVs work when they go to sell them. But if you want to look at this, zoom in on this, it's got $94,000 worth of options. So this coach brand new when it was purchased was $474,958. Some of those um, options being um, solar battery charger. This does have solar panels on the roof. It's got a heated floor. Um, you know, it's like some things that wouldn't really count as options. It's like got the TVs as options, um, but it's got ceiling fan um, in the back bedroom and lots of more options if uh, you want to zoom I don't, I don't even know if you could be you'll be able to see that clearly but hopefully you guys can pause the video and take a look at those if you want to see uh, more so of what you know it has but this was definitely not a cheap coach when it was brand new and it's only got like i said 60,688 miles on it on a 500 cummins diesel that is practically nothing and the condition that this has been kept in is absolutely immaculate the roof's in immaculate shape. There's absolutely no staining. Things are dense on the inside, like of the top of the roof, where sometimes you'll see uh, the little stripping uh, come down on these uh, roofs like this and this older roof. Not necessarily having to do with like moisture, but the inside of the roof where things will fall down, where the glue has failed on the inside. This has got none of that. The roof's in great shape. We also have, um, this was, considered another option whether it's another option or whether you just get it i don't know but this is the roof um it's called like the ceiling fixture basically that you get on the ceiling we've got the table dinette this does extend out so you get an extra chair um that is in the closet space you'll find that fold up chair uh we just got some cabinets underneath cabinets over top we've got the two opposing sofas back here in the back uh, pretty much the same sofas. The only difference is that this sofa here does pull out into a queen size air mattress uh, right here. So you just pull that on out and uh, bump it up into the queen size air mattress. Every little detail here on, you know, the trim of the RV, on uh, even to the etching on the glass on this kitchen space is, um, it just goes to show again, you're not going to get quality like this in a brand new RV. Almost never. It's never going to happen unless you probably want to spend a million dollars on a Newmar, on a Tiffin, then you might get it. 
but this is all real wood this is all real tile this is all real everything and the detail that they went into with everything is i mean even on this etched glass it's not just a, you know a piece that slapped onto the glass you can actually feel the indentation of the etching that they did inside of the glass sharp tv um back here as well just some really nice uh, cabinets one weird thing that we did discover um which i talked to bob about this all the time <laughs> is like finding switches for things in rvs it drives me crazy even when you have a fantastic rv like this i don't think i've ever seen an rv where they put switches just in perfect spots it's always just randomized anyways you've got an awning switch back here for your awning now the good thing about it is you can just push it one time and the awning comes out you can go watch it come out or you can um, in the middle of it rotating out you can just push it once to stop it you don't have to sit there and hold it you can push it and also see it come out out of the window um we'll head back to the down this hallway so we've got the two slides up here for the kitchen front living and then we don't have a slide out here in this hallway this is the section where you don't have a slide out and i'm going to open this up and bob's just going to kind of show you the bathroom so this is where your bathroom's at we've got that uh, really nice corner shower everything in here including the showers got these bronze i don't know if you want to call them bronze fixtures we've got them on the doorknobs we've got them on the sinks and we have them on the handheld shower nozzle really nice bathroom really good space for the shower corner bench seat fantastic fan in there as well um, and then right behind the bathroom here, you do have the stack washer and dryer. Now, <clears throat> these uh, these drawers actually, thankfully, do open all the way up because it would have been a little bit hard to actually be able to utilize this if your drawer only opened up to there. With these hinges, it opens up all the way to the back. And here we are in the back bedroom. We got a close off for the back bedroom. We do have a king size bed. And back here in the back. I think there was another option with this coach with the uh, mattress. It said, I haven't really looked into this too much yet. It said something about it was like an automatic um, or like a uh, automatic something with, it had a remote for the bed. I don't, I haven't really seen a remote. So I don't know if they just paid extra for a certain type of mattress or not. I don't know. A lot of people change their mattress when they purchase an RV because they like a certain comfort. This is pretty firm. We've got your access back here in the back compartment. Um, and we also have access in this back closet, full um, sliding mirror here for the back closet. Get out of your way so you can take a shot of that. We've got that back uh, panel back there too for the back side closet. We've got a shoe rack back there and then that's where also your other chair is. And then we've got the hanging rack back there for your clothes, lots of space. Um, and then in front of the bed here, we've just got some cabinets and then I guess you could consider this, or at least I think that's what this is for, is like a, a dirty clothes hamper. So you can throw your clothes in there. A lot of times I see, when I actually do see the actual dirty clothes hampers, they fold out like this, but this is just square instead of something like that. Another sharp TV back here in the back. We do have three AC units on this RV, and then we've got our ceiling fan uh, right above Bob here for the back bedroom. You won't know you need a ceiling fan until you have a ceiling fan, then you know you don't not want to have a ceiling fan, especially here in Arizona. You gotta have a ceiling fan. Uh, we'll head back up to here to the front, see if there's any other options on this sheet that I missed out on. We do have all surround sound speakers here on the inside of the RV here. Um, hopefully you guys can zoom in on this um, and pause that video to see any other little things that you know I may have missed. It'll all also be listed on our website as well. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of telling us about the stained cherry, the Cummins motor, and um, all that. So it's considered stained uh, cherry wood on the outside. All right, guys, if you have any questions about this RV, because I'm sure I did not get everything, just let us know. Give us a call at 480-357-5200 if you're interested in this RV. Send me an email. I'll leave my email down in the description below. Be sure to like the video if you like Holiday Ramblers, this Holiday Rambler Imperial. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.